in this video i'm going to show you the secret setting that you don't know about in call of duty mobile and i'm going to explain for you step by step on how those settings work and i'm going to show you which setting you need to turn it on and which, which setting you need to turn it off so guys so that you can have a very good gameplay and smooth gameplay without any destruction so guys let's dive into the video but before we move that if you find this video very useful don't forget to like subscribe or even share to your friends so that they can benefit from it so guys let's dive into the video so first of all these are the few settings that i'm going to explain for you guys so that you can understand and how you can use them these are the very important settings that you can use now okay we'll go to our settings okay let me start with this standard system to this one let me explain the work of this so this standard sensitivity let me show you the work okay let me change this weapon let me carry my assault like this so this the work of this standard sensitivity you understand is that when you are you are using he fired you understand he fired you see now i can move up and down like this you see i can go up and down very fast you understand and i can move my left 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 like this you understand left and right left and right like this so if you are using this in standard sensitivity let, let me show you something if your standard sensitivity is so low let me show you like zero like this. you see my screen i can't rotate and i can't go up it will stay in one place you understand it's going to stay one place so but if you increase it like this let's say small let's say like this, 50 is moving slow very slow so this is the work of this standard sensitivity chart because i know a lot of you have been asking me on my last last video what is the work of this here i'm explaining for you so this is the work. if you turn if you go up like this you see it's very low it's very low why because your standard sensitivity is too low and you go left and right is too slow why because your standard sensitivity is very low so you need to increase your sensitivity like let's try let us try like let me put like 115 so let me show you you see down up down up down up left right left right so you see this one is going to help you that when you are using heat firing like this you see you can use heat fire especially those players that have movement so you don't you can't scope like this and kill them you understand unless you have to do heat firing most of these pro players that they have good movement you understand so you have to do heat fire before you knock them down so for me for me this is the stand my standard sensitivity i always use very high sensitivity in case of those toxic player like let me say i use 100 240 like this. you can see that my this is so fast you see and i can go up everything so fast for me so i recommend you that if you find out that your standard sensitivity your when you go left like this or right like this is too slow then you can increase it or when you go down when you look down and up is too slow then you can increase it <clears throat> if you can increase when it's too high for you that you can't even control <clears throat> sorry when it's too high for you that you can't even control then you can reduce it just the way i'm doing like this so for me most people the perfect one that you can use especially those people that are using mobile mobile phone you can use like 75 85 sorry i mean you can use either 85 or 75 let's try like this you see because mobile phone is too small you understand so you can use 85 or 75 depend you can go and find the perfect one for you but for ipad user for me my own is 200 i'm using high because uh, let me show you like 215 like this it's too perfect again you see, once you use something high it's going to give you perfect something so this is the work of standard sensitivity you can change it and you can use it the same you see like this i'm using 215 value my volume is 225 then you can come to your standard sensitivity you can still adjust it at the same time so that it can give you actual reaction if you want so now we need to move on we need to move this is the first explanation let's move to the second one the second one is going to be sync ads sync with the sync ads fov to score let me show you the work of this thing sync ads you see it's turned here is off and here is all on so i turn this on let me show you something let's go let me come here okay you see when i am when i ads you see i scope 
and i can shoot this guy and you see my scoping is it fast you see it's so it's fast but not that fast you understand you see and your scope is not going to be like very close i'm going to give you a lot distance why because you are doing you are using sync for me you turn it on that's why my scope is so far from the opening so this is how you can change you make it perfect for you if you want to you can use either you can turn it on like this it's your choice depend especially but i recommend most people that use mobile phone they used to turn this sync ads for me but some of them are not using but you can turn it on or off let me show you how the thing work here if you turn it off on like this the way i'm using like this you understand just come here come to sensitivity setting then come to this ads like this come to ads let me show you something let me put it max okay let me start from the zero ads sensitivity under my camera you see when i ads like this i can i can't move my screen it's going to stay in one place you understand <clears throat> with the sync ads so i need to increase it like let's see let me put it like max now if i shoot this guy you see if i shoot like this you see but it, it will be hard for me to control it at a level 300 you understand so i need to find the perfect one for myself they will come reduce it when when the thing is too high for me to score when i scope is too high for me they will need to reduce it let me say i will use 100 125 like this you see 125 for me is perfect because for when i turn sync ads you understand so this is the difference between when is the when the thing is on and off if to say like for example you see now sync ads is all on so my if you find out if you check my ads sensitivity you will see that is very high you understand okay let me let me show you something like this what is this thing let me turn it off now you see that my sync ads is off now let me you see i scope i can see my opponent very closer to me like this but my aim my aim will be so fast you understand you see that i can't even kill somebody it's too fast i can't control it so i need to go to the sensitivity under this idea let me reduce it like zero if i put it like zero like this it's going to stay in one place so i need to find the perfect one for me let's say like this i'm going to use 45 so when i scope like this you see you see so 45 is too high for me then i will reduce it let me put like 39 finding the good one you see 39 you see you see 39 so i found out that 39 is good for me so this is how if you are using ipad or mobile phone either you can either choose sync ads or you can turn it you can turn it on or off it's your own choice but you have to find the perfect value for your own most pro player they don't they turn it off because they need good aim you understand but when you turn it on it's going to give you a better aim than when it's off but for the perfect one for the pro player they make it off they turn it off because they need to see their opponent very closer and they always practice on their aim so I recommend you if you are use ipad you can leave this in you can turn this in off sync ads and you need to, when you turn this sync ads off like this then you need to come here and reduce your ads sensitivity to very low at least at least you can find it 35 35 40 45 it's okay around those range you can leave it like that but if you if the sync ads is on then you can increase it to like 100 plus or 90 something you understand either you are using ipad or mobile phone it's all the same you understand so this is that's that's how they work of sync ads and then we're going to move to the next one and um, this thing. oh where's this thing? Mm, this um mm, ads fob curve this one let me turn it on and show you something okay let me carry like sniper okay let me use this one you see this sniper you see you see just watch the scope you see you see it's just showing what it's just showing the curve you see you see so let me shoot you see so if you let me turn it on now you see how that thing work right okay let me turn it off now 
a ds cup i turn it off and you see you see it show it score very fast because you see and it scopes straight to your opening your opening you see you see so i recommend you that you should leave this thing you should turn it this uh ads fov curve off you should turn it just check your own if your own is on then turn it off because if you leave it on it's going to destroy your aim so i recommend you to turn it off so that you can have a perfect aim just like this you feel me you see you can have a perfect aim so the next thing is going to be a distant ammunition this ammunition blending this ammunition is off now let me show you how this thing works let's see when you are switching and crouching jumping sprinting like this you understand your animation is going to be is off now so you'll be all you have to do that you see that the ammunition when you scope it just goes straight but when it's on like this when it's on like this ammunition blend see you see it helps you to you see it helps you to move very neat double you see so this ammunition i recommend you that you guys should turn this on it have a lot this ammunition when you check your own if your own is off then you can turn it on it helps you you can turn it on no matter the type of cell phone that you are using you understand and the next thing is going to be hitting sound hitting sound enhancement let me show you this is off you understand Wait, let me show you okay let me carry this okay listen to the sound just listen to the sound you see the sound is look different okay let me show you something where does hitting sound okay when it's on like this when you turn it on like this you can you see the sound when it on it gives you another sound once you know your opening is going to give you another sound and that is a way weird thing so you need to turn it off this sound is not perfect for you you need to turn it off so i recommend you guys you should turn this hitting sound enhancement and the next is going to be held bar mode the help bar mode you see my own is off so i'm going to show you something like this for example let me explain here when it's residual like this the residual like this. let's turn this on I recommend you guys you should turn this on you understand if you turn this on this this uh hell bar mode like the, when you turn it on like when it's off you are you can't see the damage of your your teammate you can you know so but you need to turn this on like this and reduce the opacity like put the opacity like 80 and the health bar scale reduce it to like um 60. if you use ipad you can leave it like 60 55 but if you are using a mobile phone you can leave it like 55 is okay for you or 50 then you need to turn it this on this id displays mode you see when it's id you can see your player name so don't put it at mark put the id so that you can see the up your teammate name and your name you can see your teammate name especially if you are playing with a good player once they die you know say so so person is dead by with this name so and you need to turn this perspective teammate like this near obstruction you understand when your teammate is camping or you just hard scoping waiting for the opponent to pull up then you can know the actual position where your enemy your teammate is he's he's staying in that place so but when it's on you can see like this now you can see that it's off and when it's done you see this this voltage is something like this so you need to perspective teammate you need to turn this on let me see. okay just tell me what do you want to learn what do you want to know about this setting and other thing like this you understand you guys you need to comment and tell me what you want to learn so that i can explain more for you i can be explaining everything that you have confusion about it i'll be explaining for you so you guys you can and don't forget to like and follow subscribe for more for more update guys so you can ask me anything that you have issue with and just like getting good aim practicing you understand getting how to know your perfect sensitivity and many more you can ask me i will make a tutorial for you just easy tutorial the very slow tutorial the way you guys can understand you understand so guys ggs don't forget to like 
and subscribe for more love you all let's go guys